Have you ever tried to make lighter electronics and need to use thinner PCBs? Or cheap components are still laid out on the other side of a larger number of inline components? These two PCBs will bend because the reflow soldering temperature is too high in the mount soldering process. Maybe there is a drop of elements on the first side, or maybe in the wave soldering process, the chip component is glued with unnecessary tin. But fortunately, there are free flow carrier. Look, I'm holding an alumina vehicle. If it is a very thin PCB, we can put it on top of it and send it to reflow soldering. In this way, they will not bend when heated, and even an element force, they will not fall into the furnace. Let's take a look at another synthetic stone material. We can see that it has a lot of hollow latex on it, corresponding to the position of the inline components on the PCB and in the position of the chip element it is sealed. In this way, the liquid tin in the wave soldering will only condense where we wanted it to achieve the welding effect without screwing up the whole product. Whether it is aluminum alloy or synthetic stone, we can see that it is very hard and can withstand high temperatures. As long as we choose the right tools and follow the procedures, we can realize the weight reduction of products.